Hey guys, my name is Zach. Welcome to Collecting Weekly. On today's video, we're gonna do some rambling on cabinet lighting, and we will look at my uh, Aberdeen China cabinet uh, with some Amazon LED lighting uh, strips that I have. Now these strips are really nice. I've used them for about two years on uh, several different cabinets. Uh, they were actually the first lights that I got, uh, and, and really, I'm very critical uh, of the way my collection looks. And uh, I wanted to try some different options uh, just to see some different effects that I could create. Uh, so I've also tried Dioders, the warm white from Ikea, uh, which those are kind of expensive. And I've also tried some RGB uh, stout LED strips. Uh, but frankly, I really didn't like uh, any of, of the other strips compared to these uh, for several reasons. For one, the cost. Uh, for a Detolf, which is, you know, roughly half of what my cabinet uh, is, my cabinet is basically two Detolfs, but just a smidge taller, um, you can light a Detolf for, I think it's about $12. Uh, the adhesive on these is just incredible, it will not fail, I, I can guarantee you that, you know, if you clean your Detolf properly before you install it, these strips will not fail. Uh, the uh, light is very constant uh, with the dioders. Uh, I found that they would always flicker. I would always come home and they'd be flickering and have to reset the lights to get them to stop. Uh, with other RGB strips, the colors would change drastically. And I'll link some uh, pictures of what I mean uh, at the end of this video for some RGB lights. Um, the customer service, it's from Amazon, so it's really good. Um, you know, I've had a few times where I've had remote sensors go out and uh, they were able to replace them. Uh, very, very good customer service. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I've been using these for two years. Uh, they're a cool white, and they work exceedingly well. Uh, they use a remote, which I'm going to have to superimpose uh, a remote photo, a photo of the remote in the video, just because it is kind of dark in here. But the remote allows you to uh, pick three pre-programmed dimming settings. So this is 100%, then 50%, then 25%. And then you can also do an increments of 10%. A dimming so if you wanted it like 80% you know you could do that uh, they also have this kind of function which I really don't like uh, I don't know why anyone would want that uh, but apparently some retail stores like it uh, that function uh, but you know it is what it is I, I've never used it but it's there if you I guess if you wanted to give yourself a seizure uh, but yeah like I said these are really really good lights um, my only complaint about this uh, this setup is that you know if you're running if you have like five or six detoffs it's not that easy to set them up in terms of uh i know you can wire them to all be ran off of one remote uh but usually for each strip you'll need a remote so that kind of makes it a little expensive uh not necessarily compared to other options but the fact that you ha you're going to have like five extra remotes laying around that you don't need uh, because you need the sensors for each it kind of seems a little wasteful. I wish there was like a, a connector box that you could plug all your strips into and then that box would control every strip. Uh, but the way I have it here now, since this is about twice as wide as the Detoff, is my lighting starts at the bottom. You see that hole there? It goes up, down, right, stops at the bulba shelf, and then goes down and then exits out. And then on the bottom, it starts at the bottom left corner, goes up, right, down, left, and then out. And that's the way I recommend you do it on a Detolf because uh, if your door opens with the hinge on the right, I think you should do it that way. And if your door has the hinge uh, on the left, I think you should do it the opposite way just so you can tuck everything nice and neat and your cabinet can still close. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good lighting setup. I'm going to open the doors so you can see um, kind of how I have, it'll, it'll show you how I have it wired. Uh, so let's open up these doors and uh, we'll take a look at what the remote sensor looks like and uh, you know how they light the figures. Okay, so this is how the uh, lights function on this shelf here. This is uh, a 36 inch wide uh, shelf. I think it's actually like 34 uh, inside diameter, or inside length, excuse me. And the figures are being lit from the vertical left and right, excuse me, and from the bottom here, as you can see. So they're getting three sides of lighting, and I think it just looks really nice. Um, you know, like I said, with dioders and with RGB strips, you're only lighting from the top, and so you really don't, uh, you cast some nice shadows,
but I feel like the figures are always underlit under those kinds of conditions. Um, for some characters, like, you know, like a Batman, I think it looks really cool, but, you know, being that Star Wars, generally speaking, is a sci-fi, you know, really bright lighting, like on the uh, interiors of Star Destroyers and whatnot, I just like them to be well lit. Uh, and you can see that they do the job very well. Now, during the installation of these lights into the cabinet, I did have some issues. Um, the way that this cabinet is put together, it's a pressure fit, so the shelves are, you know, less than a millimeter from the walls of the shelf. And I actually cracked some of the bulbs of the LED strip. And I'm happy to report that the entire strip didn't shut down like, you know, like you'd imagine a Christmas tree would. Uh, just this, the individual sections that were affected. And the way that this strip works is that every set of three strips, uh, you can cut it after that. You know, you obviously wanna make sure it's not plugged in. So when you're installing it and you get to the end, which I have here, there's a cut that you know I've made to, to end the strip. And so in the LEDs that I've broken, you can see that that series of three is, is out. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but you know once I have the doors closed, you can't tell. And this was completely uh, user uh, error. I should have dremeled the shelves with a little channel for the LEDs, but I was being lazy. And after putting this massive cabinet together by myself, uh, it just was a huge, uh, annoyance and I was just ready to be done with it. Uh, but you can see the light looks very good. We're gonna turn it back here. Uh, but look at how good C-3PO looks, R2-D2, uh, Santa Yoda. I mean, everything just looks really good. Um, I've found that if you're taking a picture of your cabinet and your uh, lens is a bit, uh, you know, if you have a fingerprint on your lens or if it's not super clean, I find that they can make kind of distracting uh, little vertical lines. Uh, from the LEDs and uh, I find that just cleaning your lens and kind of backing out just a little bit usually helps That's only the other annoying thing about these is that they uh, if you're taking a close-up of a figure You know from a low angle like for example my bottom shelf, which is the same, you know lower line here since I can't go any lower or higher Because the way that shelf is I find that sometimes the the lights can be a little overbearing, but you know, generally speaking, for, for what it is, I really, really like these uh, lights. I think they just are so flexible. Um, you know, you get the dimming. You can see that that's just the effect of the LEDs. And that's not what I'm talking about when I mean the bars of light. That's just the LEDs cycling. Um, but yeah, they're just really good lights. I really can't um, speak of them enough, you know. Uh, in, in conjunction with the framing that I have, it hides them. And it just looks really sweet. So let me... Let me close this here. And you can see the next thing I want to ramble about is these weather strips that I installed in my cabinet to keep dust out. Uh, but you can see once I close it uh, and you back out a little bit to a normal viewing angle, you actually uh, sort of lose the LED strips and the cabinet itself just looks like it's, you know, something out of a museum where it's lit, you know, from, from the inside. Uh, I really love these LED strips. I'm gonna link, uh, the uh, strips and the remotes, the remotes come in a two-pack, I believe, down below. Uh, really awesome, awesome uh, piece of technology. And let me turn the lights on here. So now that the lights are on, let's see if this looks a little better. Yeah, so this is what the remote looks like. It basically has a, um, let me see. Basically just has like the, you know, the power, the light, the bright functions, the 150, 25% and then those weird flashing modes that I was telling you about Now I will say the only thing additionally that I don't like about these lights is that the remote is very powerful and by that uh, To the right here. This is the master bedroom over here to the right uh, of this wall um, so this remote is able to uh, trigger the lights that are in my wife's um, Vanity which is the same LED strip, you know exact same setup uh, through that wall and through another like 15 feet. My master bedroom is um, Like unnecessarily large. I don't know why it's so large But the the vanity all the way across there through our bed and through our dresser and through our TV through this wall It triggers that light like, you know, very very easily. So um, I Wish there was a way to code these like, you know, maybe a switch on the remote that you could select like an A and a B uh, that way, if you have different cabinets or more of these in the house, um, I wanted to put these in the kitchen uh, under our bar uh, that we have. 
but they were still being triggered by this remote all the way across the house into the kitchen. So, um, you know, that's kind of a pain in the ass, but really, uh, you know, since I decided just to use them in here in the vanity, it's really not that big a deal. Uh, and I'm sure there's things I could do to block some of the signal all the way in the kitchen. Uh, but yeah, generally speaking, I mean, you know, the cost, the, the customer service, the ease of installation, you know, it's basically, they come on a giant roll and you, uh, you kind of peel a few inches at a time and you stick them and then you just go through the perimeter and, uh, it's, it's just crazy easy. Um, you know, it's just awesome. Like I really love them. Um, I'm going to show, like I said, a few pics of some issues I had with some RGBs that I definitely watch out for. Um, basically they just color shifted really nastily and, uh, the dioders, I could just never get them to stay. I kept buying adhesives and wire mounts and zip ties and the dioders would always fall and they'd always flicker. Uh, these are just incredible. The only thing, like I said, every once in a while you replace the remote sensors. Um, but if you're like me, I, I usually put the cabinet at like, you know, 70% and then I never touch the remote. You know, I only touch it if, you know, my daughter's in the room and she's going to be there for a while then I'll dim it really low because it's, it is really bright. Um, you know, or if I'm just having a headache and I'm trying to get some work done in the office, uh, then I'll, I'll lower it. But generally speaking, it's, it's always, you know, about here. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's really great. You know, on this cabinet, there's, uh, there's actually, uh, two sets of lights and two sets of remotes, like I mentioned. So this remote is, is triggering very, very accurately, uh, both sets of those. And, uh, yeah, it's, like I said, it's a really great thing. I really hope you're able to learn something today. Links will be in the description. Uh, I don't get anything from you guys buying them. So, you know, my review is really a genuine one. It's not like I'm getting a kickback from Amazon or from the company, uh, but great stuff. And, uh, hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys tune into my weather stripping video and, uh, hopefully you guys listen to the podcast from yesterday. It was a really good show. My best friend, uh, Manny, uh, joined my best friend, Dean and I, this was a trio of best friends. Uh, hanging out, talking toys, and it was a really good show. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.